Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the fifth C Sharp tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the switch statement. Now if you know Visual Basic, um, the switch statement will be very familiar to you. Um, we're just going to make a very simple boolean here and we're going to say, uh, or not a boolean, geez, sorry, a variable. We're going to say int age equals, and we're just going to say 10. Now what we're going to do here is say switch and you have to give it the variable age and then you give it a function block or a code block now you have to give it a certain amount of cases you say case and we'll say zero break now you're probably looking at this going what in the world is this well I'm gonna explain it very quickly after I add a few of these Now, what we're doing here, this is similar to an if statement, is we're saying, okay, evaluate this expression. Now, switch. And each one of these cases is a different switch. We're saying if the age is zero, and then let's say if the age is, let's say five, and let's just say 10. Do something at each one of these levels. So if it's zero, say console dot, we'll say right line, You have not been born yet. You know, somebody's obviously trying to fool us and saying they're not old at all, so we'll show them. Console right line Too young for school. And console ten or console ten cheese. Case ten. We're gonna say, okay, you should be in school by now. Now default is a special one. Default says you've gone through the entire switch cases, all of them, and nothing has fit. So we'll say, I don't know. Now what's going to happen here is we're going to run this program. It's going to go into the main function here. It's going to say we have an integer of age equals 10. And you notice how when you highlight age, it highlights it here also, because it's showing you where it's used. Now we're saying switch age. So every time we have a case, it's going to say, is age equal zero? Well, no. Is it equal five? No. Is it equal 10? Yes, it's going to print this. Now break, that stops what's called fall through. In some languages, you can get rid of break and you can say, for example, zero five, no break in between. So it'll actually say, is it zero? No. Keep going, is it five? And it'll evaluate this as one big expression. We don't want that and actually you cannot do that in C-sharp so you have to have a break every single time if you're wondering why it looks like that well it's because C-sharp is very closely tied to C++ and it tries to mimic the syntax to make it easier on people so let's do that and then let's just add our console.read line or we can just do a console.read press F5 to run and sure enough, you should be in school because we said 10. Now, let's give it a different age here. Let's actually say 43. 43 wasn't in our, our cases, so it's going to say, I don't know, because it broke down into the default down here. So that, in a nutshell, is the switch statement. Very simple, very powerful. Um, why would you use the switch statement? Well, if you didn't, you would have to say if you know, this, um, else, if, this, you know, you just keep going and going and going and it gets maddening and you don't want to do that. So when you have something where you want to say, okay, do something at different levels, if you're zero, if you're five, if you're 10, use a switch statement. Well, this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining.